Hello, welcome to Autobot YouTube channel. Myself Rahul uh, Today we are going to see how you can publish or how you can deploy a package to package registry in GitLab. So in the first introduction video, I have gone through almost all the functionalities in GitLab and I showed you like uh, uh, where you can find the package registry as well as container registry. And uh, uh, as a description, I uh, told you like a package registry is for keeping all the packages, like maybe the artifact, like jar, var files, or any of the files. Or if you want to keep any separate uh, uh, reports, or if you want to keep any files, you can use the package registry in GitLab, right? So um, today I am going to show you like how you can use the Maven commands to publish or to deploy the packages to package registry in GitLab, right? So for that, I have created this particular project, uh, GitLab demo project, and if you go to deploy, and inside that you will be able to see package registry. Okay. So there is no option for manually publishing the uh, package package registry. So you have to use either uh, the APIs for publishing that, or you can use the Maven commands for doing that, or you can use curl command for doing that. So today I am going to show you using the Maven command for publishing it. Right. So if you go here. What I have done is I created a folder, a demo, and inside that I created a folder artifacts, and I just kept uh, one target folder. Inside that we have a uh, jar file, so this artifact that I'm going to publish. So the name is demo hyphen one dot two, and uh, we have the respective form dot xml file is there. And if you go inside uh, here, you can see I have uh, defined all these details of the project over here, right? So this is the group ID, this is artifact ID. This is the version, what is the packaging, are, and all these details I have provided in the form.xml itself. Right? And another important file is Maven settings. So, this Maven settings is nothing but like it is giving the authentication for your machine or your bash to publish the package to the GitLab uh, uh, package registry. Okay? So, this will be having uh, this server settings. Inside that, uh, we have provided the ID as GitLab Maven and username we have provided like a my token so how you can generate this token is just go to gitlab okay click on your uh, uh, profile icon go to preferences okay and if you go to access token you will be able to see person access token so just click on this provide a name and uh, uh, you can set your expiration date and which all access you want just select everything and Click on create personal access token, right? So, whatever the name that you're going to provide here, that is the username, and the password that is going to generate will be the personal access that is going to generate will be the password, right? And after that, what, what we are going to do is we are going to set the profile. So, this profile is nothing but we are granting the permission to publish package to this particular project and to insert this Maven uh, repo, right? So, this project ID is nothing but like. Uh, if you go here and uh, let me go inside the project if you go inside the project just go to settings just go to general if you go to general you can find this project id right and uh, what are the remaining settings so this is our default url gitlab.com and api slash v4 is the api uh, path and uh, we have to give projects and we have to provide the project id like from my machine i'm going to give authentication to publish to this particular project, project package is maven right if it is something different then i have to provide the different project id right? so this permission i am granting so let me show you uh, how we can use this maven settings and the maven command for publishing the package to this particular project package history, right so all these details i have provided so in case if you are going to use the cacd for this in way, uh, as part of your CSD, you will have to use this and that time instead of giving this personal authentication, you can use the job token for uh, authenticating the uh, deployment or uh, the publishing of packages. So that part I will be covering as uh, an other video. So today I am just going to show you how you can manually deploy or publish the package to package registry. Okay. So that part is done. So let me go here. Let me go to this particular folder. Let me open a bash. Okay, so we have the target folder, we have the form.xml file. And once generating the artifact, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to automatically take the details from form.xml file. I'm not going to give any values explicitly. Right? So I will show you the commands. So these are the commands that we can use to publish the 
package to the particular uh, uh, registry right so here we need to pass a package url so what is package url package url is nothing but ci api v4 url so this is nothing but a default variable that is providing by gitlab if you are going with a ci cd pipeline you just need to provide this path as the uh, base url for that particular api then project and the project id so and the package is slash maven so in our case the project id is a this particular value and this is the base path till api uh, v4 and we have the projects uh, folder and inside that we are providing the uh, project id and then the package is slash maven okay so this package url we have to replace over here and the default is a default of maven uh, layout and the gitlab is a default id right and we are setting uh, like where we need to publish this particular package so where we need to publish the package to this particular remote uh, maven registry right so to this particular remote maven registry we need to publish right so i already have the particular command over here so here you can see this is a particular maven command and here there is one segment called maven deploy degenerate form equal to true so just consider if there is no form or form over here and i want to explicitly um write the details or just consider i want to create a new form. Okay. so at that time i can set it like true if i am keeping it like false means it will not generate a new form.xml file instead it will take the default one what i'm going to do is just copy this your comment maven deploy uh, hyphen d generate form equal to true and hyphen all deployment repository equal to gitlam maven default and the path of the repository right so let me do one thing um, before this, let me go to deploy package registry. So, that means there is no package over here. Uh, so, what I'm going to do is let me put in the comments how it is going to generate. Okay, so here you can see I haven't provided any stage.xml file. So, this main stage.xml file is providing the authentication. So, without that uh, settings, I'm going to execute this command. We we'll see. Uh, whether it is allowing to publish the packet or whether, or whether it is uh, throwing any error okay so here in our folder we have maven settings dot uh, uh, xml file i haven't passed a particular file no okay. so here we are getting a particular error like a uh, uh, fail to deploy artifact could not transfer artifact because uh, authentication fails so currently the problem is we are not providing authentication to publish the package so for that what we can do is pass the settings dot xml file so before to deploy hyphen s maven settings dot xml then deploy okay now let us see whether it is getting published or not yes now you can see the build success and upload it to particular gitlab of maven and this is the okay so this particular artifact was published to package history let me refresh it so here you can see it has successfully deployed over here and here you are getting the dependency you can copy and paste it to any other project which is going to use the particular package okay. and here you can see the repository details as well and uh, if you scroll down you will be able to see that okay it's got uh, attached as well as the form for the file it got a uh, deployed right so this is how you can publish the packages to package history manually by setting maven for the uh, settings file and passing the person access to it. okay so if you just consider like uh, as part of your maven command you want to override the version or artifact identity that is having in form for the file for that you need to uh make some tuning to this particular command like in of that we deploy we have to pass the deploy file command and you need to set the different goals and artifact id at all publish the package okay? so that's what i will be covering a separate video uh, so i hope you put a clear idea like how you can deploy the packages using the existing uh form.xml file and to uh and by making an authentication to that particular package based right? So if there is any confusion regarding uh, today's video, please do comment in the comment section. I can help you. So thanks for watching the video. If you like the video, please share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. So thanks for watching the video. Bye.